Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, in the beginning I would like to say to you please be careful today we are going to do some magic and you might be controlled. I learned some magic tricks and trust me they are powerful. I have a chicken next to me. I have the tools. I know the words. In a second, I can control you. But good news, I'm not going to do it today because I'm vacation now. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm taking off like for some time from doing magic. And, and I was just joking with you guys. I'm sure many of you are scared. <laughs> I scared you. I scared you. I got you. Okay. Hey, okay. <clears throat> are we live? Yeah, yeah, we are live. Okay, we are live. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. I mean, <clears throat> life is full of stories. And today I will tell you a painful story. There was a prophet. Very important prophet. He prophesied anything you want. He knew about science, biology, zoology, even trampology. is the best, not like the rest. Commercial break. If you are suffering from voodoo magic, call us right now. Voodoo for you to save you. Your mother-in-law, she might do voodoo for you. Your wife, she might do voodoo for you. Your grandmother, she might do voodoo for you. Actually, you have no idea right now as we speak who is doing voodoo for you. So voodoo4u.com is the best solution. Call us right now and we can save your bum from any voodoo. Big voodoo, small voodoo, middle-sized voodoo, it doesn't matter what kind of voodoo, unless it is a voodoo by the, made by the Ring of Solomon. End of the commercial. The Prophet. was suffering the magic was working through stories Commercial break. If you are, if your name is a Trump and you want to win the election, call us right now. We can do voodoo and we can control all those who want to vote against you and we make them vote for you. If your name is Joe Bite Me, call us right now. We can do voodoo and we can make all people who will vote for a Trump vote for you. However, voodoo is not guaranteed. 99.9% of our voodoo doesn't work. The only 1% will work with you only for sure. The 99% which doesn't work is going to happen to the others. So call us right now and be the winner. Take me here. All right, enough. Oh, almost then he sent me a message. And he said, don't put me my name in the screen. Hmm. I said, okay. I said, what the question? He said, uh, promise me first, then I will not, uh, uh, the, you know, I will deal with the question. And he hit me with the question. 
He said, you are lying about the prophet being bewitched. Hmm. And I wonder, like, what I would do now. I mean, that's it. He said, I'm lying. I don't know if he's here. He should be. Move your finger if you are there. Don't worry, we will not do voodoo for you. And the funny, he said, voodoo is a lie. Magic is a lie. Okay, I agree with you. Osama Abdullah, once he came to me and he debated me supposedly, and he said, Christian Prince, <laughs> magic is proven to be scientifically false. <laughs> uh, and then I showed him a verse from the Quran. So let us go to the Quran. The first thing he said that magic is a lie. Obviously, those Muhammadan, Muhammad, and by the way, this is why I changed the topic. I was going to talk about something else. But this guy, he sent me this message, and he made a challenge. Remember you said, magic is a lie. And you are convinced. So if somebody says, magic is true, that's when he's a liar. You know, in the, in the Bible, it says that the magic of Moses overcome the magic of those false ones. But this is not really magic. In the Bible, speak about a miracle. God, he did a miracle. This is not magic. But for them, it wasn't magic. Like, what he's doing? Is that a trick or something? But Moses was not doing magic. He was doing something real. If we go in the Quran, chapter 20, sorry, chapter 2, verse 102, you will see that your God, Allah, he opened a school of Holy Potter and exactly the same as the Lord of the Ring. There was a tower. It's called the Tower of the Babylon. The Tower of Babylon. Harut sat down. Marut came to. And they did the barbecue. Oh, I need to make it with that. In the, in the Tower of Babylon. Angels came down. Harut was there. And Marut came after. In the Tower of Babylon. Where we sat down. Allah opened school. To teach a man a magic and turn and turn. So, yeah, I mean, it's in the Quran. Are you going to say to me now the Quran is a lie, it's weak, it's uh, shish kebab, it's from what's wrong with the, you know? Guys, yeah, should I make an album? Yeah, but my microphone is not good. My voice, my my microphone destroying my my voice. My voice is a lot better. You should see when I when I sing in the bathroom and the neighbors they start hitting the wall like shut up. You know, I don't know what he's doing. That I mean, why you guys just say my voice is uh, nice, and then and the guy the neighbor he says shut up, shut up. Doesn't make sense, does it? So it's a lie. Remember, if you if you wanna leave, if you are brave enough. You should call me immediately and say, I want to go leave Islam because I just told you that magic is a lie. And your God, he opened a school, sent two angels to open a holy reporter school. And what the purpose of this? Look at this. Hmm. Why they are opening the school? Da, 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 da. I will remember me. So, Allah opened a school. If you don't have trans translation, by the way, translation here is very funny. This Yusuf Ali, I don't know why it's set in default for me in Yusuf Ali translation. Uh, let's see, different translation. Hilali and Khan. Hilali is better, Hilali. I mean, Hilali, I know him, his cousin, you know, the uh, drug dealer. Hmm. So, brother, it says here, the angels, before they teach you in the school, you have to sign a disclaimer. Disclaimer, disclaimer, before you start the class, you have to understand we are only at trial. So disbelieve not. 
but learning magic from us and from these angels people learn by which they cause separation between the one man and the wife if 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 so my, my neighbor he was fighting with his wife because of the harut and marut of allah by the magic of baby Lou, his wife sat down ask for divorce and nobody can back her down what the heck is that so allah he opened a school and the purpose of this school is to make family literally destroyed the kids will have fun i mean when they see their parents fighting and getting divorced and who is happy? Allah. <laughs> I opened a school for them, the fool. <laughs> and now they are teaching magic. So the guy divorced his wife and the wife she divorced her husband. I'm so happy. I'm so happy and so excited. You know, sometimes I look at Allah. I see Charlie Chaplin walking in the street. I don't know if you get the image. So if you are a man... Keep your word and denounce Allah. This is a fraud. And this is cannot be from God. I mean, Jesus, he forbid the men and the women from breaking what is, uh, uh, you know, the agreement which is under God. Your God is doing the opposite. I mean, what, what is the benefit of this? God, he sent two angels. Angels, if angels are doing magic and teaching magic, so what the devil you do for a living? Now, so magic is true. This is the first thing you said is not true. It's true. Quran approved that. You cannot say to me this is the Eve Quran. And even we sing it for you to make it more understandable. If we go in the Quran, you will see the Arab accusing the Muslims that they are a bunch of people and they're, and they're black magic. <clears throat> Actually here, that's not, not chapter 15, we want to go here. They accuse Muhammad to be a person of a black magic. Read carefully. When they hear you, which means Muhammad, when they listen to you, when they meet you in a private conference, behold, the wicked say, you follow none other than a man bewitched. Okay, so what the purpose of this verse? To say that Muhammad is not bewitched. The accusation, the accusation is that Muhammad is bewitched. The answer is, oh, this is a claim, this is not true. We go to Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih al-Bukhari. Yum, yum, yum. Once the prophet was bewitched. Oh, 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 oh. The Quran said the prophet was not bewitched. The Arab, they say, Muhammad was bewitched. The Quran say you are wrong. This is a lie. He is not bewitched. And it doesn't matter how much they try, they cannot find a way to you. So Allah promised that this thing will never happen to you. And then we find Aisha getting Muhammad busted and saying Muhammad was bewitched. And look what Aisha, she support 
her statement was some evidence. So that he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done. La 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 I thought I ate It turned I did not I was a drinking Pepsi I thought I ate No, 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 you did not I was I think I'm, I'm bewitched too So the prophet, he imagined that he'd done a thing, in fact, he did not. So how we can trust that Muhammad, he saw an angel? How we can trust that Muhammad, he did not see shaitan, and shaitan is giving him the Quran. Actually, the Quran confirmed that Muhammad received satanic verses. Hmm. Uh. My friend, all Muslims destroy me. I mean, this is something. The Muslim, in, in case they could not destroy me, they can do voodoo. Like, hello? All of them, they can destroy me, but nobody can dare to kill me. I mean, isn't it obvious? They destroy you. You are finished, boy. Mickey Mouse. Oh. <clears throat> Do you remember the, the gentleman who called me yesterday? He called me to prove me as a liar. What happened? Less than, I don't know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes after, he agreed that the Quran is garbage and he left Islam. And he speak Arabic. We go back to the topic. Now, the Prophet was bewitched. In the old days, when somebody, he loses his mind, he do something doesn't make sense in a way like he look healthy, let us say physically, but he do something crazy, stupid. So what people say? He was bewitched. You notice here that Aisha, she did not just say the word bewitched, she mentioned a behavior. He began to imagine and she, she used the word imagine. She didn't say he thought You know this? In Arabic it says, يُخَيَّلُ إِلَيْهِ أَنَّهُ صَنَعَ شَيْئًا وَلَمْ يَصْنَعُهُ يُخَيَّلُ إِلَيْهِ He imagined. Correct translation, which is weird. Muslims usually don't do that. The second we agree that Muhammad, he imagined doing things. In fact, he did not. It's the same second we agree that Muhammad is suffering from mental illness. All of us, we knew that this bewitching thing is a garbage. To believe in such a thing, you have to be very naive. But in the same time, the Quran answered the accusation of the Arab when they say that Muhammad is a under the magic. Hmm. Guys, one of the funny things, the Quran exposes itself. Look at this here. The Arab, the, how, how many times you heard the Muslim says, the Arab, they could not respond to Muhammad. The Arab, they could not make Quran like that, that it's Muhammad. The Arab, the Arab, the Arab, they were making fun of the Quran. Look at this. They say, this is nothing but the fabulous tales of the ancient, fairy tale stories. And then in the same page, they say, he is nothing but a bewitched man, crazy man. So, Muhammad, he challenged him to make a crazy book like his book. The Arab, they are saying to him, he's an idiot, stupid. And the Muslim, they say that Allah, he challenged them to make a verse like it. It's like saying, can be stupid more than me. Oh.
Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? Anyone? And the Arab, they said to Muhammad, oh, this guy, he is just a man who eats food. I mean, look at this stupid story, man. And by the way, how we knew even that this chapter is about Muhammad? What is Muhammad in the story? Even the name of the book changed. Look, here it says, Tabarak al nazzal al-Qur'an. Is it Qur'an or Furqan? What happened? What for Quran? There's a new name, new book. I thought the name of the Quran is Quran. Now it's for Quran. Tomorrow is going to be Qari'atul Finjan. Ya waladi. Furqan, Quran, Sakran. Huh. And the Arab, they said to Muhammad, oh, he is just a man, he walk in the street and he eat food. So why they are saying to him, Muhammad used to, he's claiming to be God? This verse is proving that Muhammad was claiming to be God. I mean, what does have to do with this? And look what they say to him. Why has not an angel been sent down to him? Nobody saw the angel Jibreel. Muhammad is the only one who see him. They are asking where? You know guys, yesterday I always see angels and you know, but I don't like to say that because people, they might, uh, now the Muslim, they will copy my video, they will edit it and uh, they will say, he say Christian Prince, he claimed that he's the angels. Hmm. In the dream of baby long, where I sit down, I saw angel. Huh. He saw angels, nobody saw the angels. Even when the angel supposed they come to Muhammad and he sit in the corner. I mean, why in the world an angel will sit in the corner of the room? In the corner of a bedroom? Doing what? I mean, you have nothing to do. What's wrong with this game? You cook at the grass. Do some shopping. Do, get a grocery. This angel come to the bedroom of Muhammad and sit like a monkey in the corner. And then his wife, she said to him, he said to his wife, I see somebody, but I'm not sure if he's an angel or not. So his wife, she decided to examine if he's a, an angel or not. Actually, there's a chapter about this story. It's called The Examination of Al-Wahi, which means inspiration. And how she examined the inspiration of the prophet. She did a strap tease and then she sit in the top of him and each time she do something, she ask him, do you see him? Do you see him? He say, yes, I still see him. Yes, I still. And then she took off her clothes and she sit in the top of him. And then she asked him, do you see him? He said, no. She said, praise be to Allah, this is an angel. You ask the Muslim, how that can prove that this is an angel? They say, because angels will not sit watching a woman and husband in a sexual position. Now I know why Strapteza Club are exist in America. I was wondering why there is a Strapteza Club. And how Khadija, she learned that angels don't stay there. She went to the school of Harry Potter. Who is the one who come with this? So the Prophet himself, he did not know that this is how he can find out. And the wife she knew. The Prophet himself, he did not know who is this guy. He didn't know how to find out. The wife, she is expert in striptease. And she told him, this is how we do it. And she started taking off her clothes. And then the angel, he said, oh boy, I better go. 
first of all she scared the hell of me she is hairy all of us from middle eastern we are hairy you know once they kicked me out from the swimming pool they thought i'm wearing my clothes i wasn't it's just my hair like, hello hmm. somebody saying muslim don't believe in nonsense no my friend their god his name is not some nonsense they believe in muhammad you are switching names nonsense is allah muhammad is the prophet <sighs> hmm. and then Allah look what Allah he said to Muhammad I mean look at this blessed is he who, like, who what who is the one who is talking Allah Allah is saying blessed is he who Blast is he, blast is who, blast is he who he who he, blast is who, blast is he, blast is he who is his he. I'm getting dizzy here. So if Allah is talking in the Quran, how in the world he say blast is he who is that where his will? All of this sentence Allah is talking now. Christian Prince is going to introduce himself for you immediately. So let me talk to you about Christian Prince. Blessed is the Christian Prince who is he, who is he, he is, who is he. And he is who is he, he is he, who he. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, aren't you Christian Prince? First of all, I'm the Christian Prince. I am the Tadakanite, and I will make it the voice of Christian Prince to make fun of him. We're making the voice, so now you are you are taking revenge, aren't you? Exactly. I was doing exactly what the Christian brother did to me. Oh, but he make my voice. So I just said to intimidate his voice. Man, your voice sounds like him. Exactly. And I can even do better. Uh, what you can do? I can do the voice of a Trump. Oh, don't do that. I can do it. Don't do that. I can do it. Is that can I? I know you are sexy, and we know it. Exactly. And I can watch my video and they were thinking the same. And women they were going to me. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Is that care? Just. By the way, where do you come from? I mean, I did not even call you. <laughs> How in the world you appear? I wasn't with the evil. I was waiting for you. It's a trap. It's ambushing. It's what? Ambushing. You, you mean an amb ambush? Exactly. And we ambush people. And I'm going to bully you. Tackle me. You say tackle me. It, what? what? Okay, okay, Zakir, like, you know, I want to continue my topic, man. Just, can you give me space to finish my topic? I can give you space. Because it's forbidden by Islam to give you space for the capital. And you're a kafir. And we cannot give you space. Can you just at least turn your face to the other side of spits? You, you spit all over the place, man. What's wrong with you? I mean, what, what, how you talk like that? Put the breath. Allah created me in such a way. And Allah and me, they're not going to do anything. What? Okay, you do not need to translate that one. Uh, I understand uh, exactly what you are saying. To the point, I got you busted. Because me myself, I don't understand what I said. So how in the world do you understand what you said? Uh, you yourself you don't understand what you just said? Are you sure? Exactly. And I proved you wrong and I trained you to tell me what I said. Um, that's very hard. I got you busted. I got you butted. You said I know exactly what you are saying. And now you admitted that you don't know what I'm saying. I'm telling you, Muslim, he's a liar. Uh, okay, well, can I go back to my topic? Go different. First of all, you don't have a topic. And your topic is very funny. The Prophet will be with because he is witching. What? Because he is witching. Uh, because of witching? This is what we are saying, he was bewitched. No, he was not bewitched. He was in, in, in the bewitching. I, I have no idea what you are saying, Zaka. Uh, he, he was in, in witching. Can you stop shaking your head? Maybe the word will come correctly. He was under bewitching. 
under bewitching so he was not bewitched he was under bewitching what does that mean it means somebody was controlling him by black magic very simple okay so he was bewitched he was not with he was under bewitching so let's keep it there's a huge difference between under bewitching and he was with okay can you explain the difference between under bewitching and bewitch i will give you an example prophet muhammad he had certain problem when he was under bewitching it's different from him being bewitched. Uh, like what? If you are bewitched, you cannot perform certain things. Um, like, as an example, if you are bewitched, you cannot have sex. Oh, okay. So if you are bewitched, you cannot have sex. Exactly. And if you are under bewitching, what do you do? Under bewitching, you imagine yourself having sex. But isn't it the same? Both of them, he is not having sex. Because the you are stupid. Then they do different. If you are imagining yourself having sex, that means you are doing sex with the wrong person. With what? With the wrong person. Ah. So he was imagining himself having sex, but he was doing it with the wrong person. Exactly. Which means he can have sex. And that proved that you are wrong. I got you, but I got you, but I got you, but Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Takbir. So, Muslims, look what Zakir Naik just said to you. The Prophet, he was under bewitching. And he was imagining that he used to have sex, but in fact, he did not. This guy, even his sex was fake. Did you hear Zakir Naik saying that he was having sex with the wrong person? Like, what the heck? With who? I will pay 50 pesos if you can tell me with who. Aisha, she said, who's Aisha? The wife, the most beloved child wife to Muhammad. The Prophet continued for such and such a period. I hate the word period, man. Because if you take this word and you post it in Sahih Bukhari, you will find there's endless numbers of hadith about period. When I have my period, when I have my period, I mean, come on. I mean, make, there's a book actually, it's called the book of period. You don't believe me, I can't find it for you. Kitab al I mean, can you believe it? They have a book, it's called the book of women period this is why Khomeini he said to the Muslim Sunni uh, you have uh, <clears throat> you have what you have uh, inflammation in the library of the private part read with me carefully the book Sahihul Bukhari Book of Ministerial Periods. Book of what? Oh boy. <clears throat> I know, I know. I know you hate me. I know you hate me. It's okay, it's okay. But this is the truth. The Book of Period. A brother, uh, let me call, should I call Zaka? Zaka, are you still there? Zaka, are you, Zaka? When we need Zaka, he is not here. When we do not need him, we jump from another table. Because we want to ask Zaka, I mean, how in the world there's a book about period? I mean, okay, hold on. So the Quran speak about Jesus in a few lines, few lines. But you have a book about period. A book is number one the color of the period page number two what kind of diaper you use for period page number three I mean what kind of book this book is if I make a book and I make it for sale who is going to buy such a book the book of period Oh boy.
<sighs> I'm not going to call Zach and I because this is embarrassing. I'm sure he will not answer me. Christopher Benz, I'm leaving it to you. And I'm under the table, I did not leave. And I'm going to get you, but it. Zach and I, I did not even call you, man. I thought you're gone. I'm not going, I'm watching you. Okay, what this uh, heck is with this, uh, the book of period? What does that mean? Christopher Benz, only women have period. Can you deny that? Uh, no, yeah, we are women have period. Exactly. And because Islam is international university. It's what? International university. Okay. And because of that, we have to talk about everything. So we think about billiard. And is it so big to the point you need to make a book about it? Exactly. Okay, read the book for us. Read the book, it's a big. I mean, how the book became so big, it's just a period, man. I mean, what you say there, how it's a period. What do you want to tell us about period? What, what the book is talking about? About women having period. Okay, we got that. The women having period. How in the world this became a book? The book of period. Can you just give us an example about the book of period? Christian Prince. First of all, you are stupid. Secondly, you are stupid. Number three, you are very stupid. Okay, and... Are you going to tell us about the book, or you you keep saying secondly, firstly, number four, number five? You are stupid. We get that. We get that. You are the smart. Can you tell us about this book? Christopher, this book is really big. I read like ten years to finish it. This is about a book for the period. Do you have a book about how to make salad? <laughs> Going back to the topic, I hate you. Okay, thank you very much. Oh boy. Where we were, where, where, oh, here we go, we were here, in the baby long. Mm. <clears throat> Somebody saying, Christian CP is fooling the Christians. Okay, Mr. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, I, I got a fish, I got a fish. <laughs> Why you don't call me and challenge me live on air and show the Christians how I am fooling the Christians? And your name is what? Mr. Mass 777, seven, was that like Boeing 777? Seven, seven, seven? He's fooling the Christians. I'm showing the reference in the front of you. I mean, do you see how I fool you? I read for you what is in their book, and by reading for you what is in their book, I'm fooling you. Do you dare to call me, Mr. Uh, what's your name, Mistress? Sorry, my English is not good. Why you should call? To show them that you are, I'm fooling them. It's your duty. Okay, why you are here saying you are fooling them? Isn't this your duty? Here we go. You are doing your duty. So why you don't call me and show everybody how I'm fooling them? People here, they need evidence. Guys, do you wish to see Mr. Mistress to call me? Do you like to see Mistress calling me and getting me busted live on air? I mean, look how we have hundreds of people listening live on air. Even Zakarnak is under the table. He will support you. Why you don't call? The answer is very simple. I'm saying the truth. It's everything is in the front of our eyes. You don't even dare to say how, how I'm, I'm fooling them. Anyway, just mistress. Forget about mistress. She's busy. She's busy reading the book of period. The prophet continued for such and such a period, imagining that he had slept. What? The prophet he imagined had has slept. That's not good in English. And look what they tried to fix it with. He had sexual relationship. Ooh. Eh? It's between two brackets. It's in Arabic. It says "Yati ahlahu." I mean, how in the world "Yati ahlahu" became slept? The Prophet slept, and then a second after, between two brackets, he was doing boom boom. Hmm. Like I'm, uh, you know, I'm trying to deceive you. I will make correction. Okay, he had intercourse. 
We heard Zach and Nayak saying that the Prophet, he imagined himself having sex, but doesn't mean he cannot have sex. He was just doing it with the wrong person. Any Muslim can tell us with who? I don't want to keep this video long, so you guys, you guys can download it easy. Uh, but as you see, Islam is very silly, stupid cult. I mean, how in the world this person can be qualified to be? You see, I was in the army. When I finished my service, you know, there is, you know, you do your papers and you go, uh, like some routine you have to do, sign papers. I met with a guy. Uh, he he was he was discharged too. There's there's two kind of discharge in the army. Like it's discharged for some reason, bad reason or good reason. Like you finish your service, etc. Or Maybe you are ill, or maybe you did something bad, they kick you out. So he was saying, he's doing his paper. So I said to, to him, what, uh, I remember, like, I forgot the army rules. It's, I think he said chapter 17, I think. I'm not sure really the, the, uh, the number of the rule, which is, I don't know about it. I mean, I, I, you know, he told me that he hear voices. They release him from the army because this guy, he imagined things, he hear voices. So Muhammad even not qualified to be little guard in the army because he might start shooting people because he hear voices. How in the world that Muhammad is a prophet? How we can trust that this person is seen an angel? That cannot be true. And look, the one who is Witnessing for what's happening is his wife Aisha. Uh, Christian Prince, why you make fun of Zachary Naik? Jesus says that, yeah, Jesus says that. Prove me wrong, call me. Not only Jesus says that, Jesus, he said, I have a duty to expose false teachers, spank them and make them look like a joke. Do you want me to show you the verses? Are you upset now? I thought you are proud about Zachary Naik. Suddenly the stupid Zachary Naik, you don't want to be proud about him. They are Zachary Naik. Search on YouTube, Zachary Naik video about why there is no woman, she is a prophet. Zachary Naik, he answered the woman, she is an Indian woman, he said to her, I was said today, ask a question. Why in Islam there's no women to the Prophet? And actually, he's right. In Islam, there's no women to the Prophet. And the reason for that is very logical. Women in Islam, he can be a Prophet because if he became a Prophet, he had to do to do what do. And if he do what do to do, then the, 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 we could direct the contradiction. What? That will disturb the contradiction. This was Zakir Naik said. There's no woman she is a prophet in Islam because she bent over and then all of you Muslims will look at her ass. Go watch the video. This is the reason there is no woman she is a prophet in Islam. It is the ass. May Allah ask you. Aren't you proud about Zakir and Naik? Be honest with me. And I challenge you to search YouTube right now for the video and say I'm lying. And the Muslim like, wow, wow, genius, genius, wow. I mean, not even one of you is ashamed of the stupidity. The ass. Actually, hold on, you remind me of something about the ass. May Allah ask you too. If we go here. <clears throat> There's a hadith about a bunch of Muslims who were tempted by the ass of a, of, a, of, a, of a feminine man, of a gay. And Zakir Naik is right. You Muslim get tempted by any, any ass in the front of you, even if it's an ass of a man. Let us read. <clears throat> Here we go. This is Sahir Bukhari. The Muslim, they said, we went to Uthman, which we became the caliphate after Muhammad. 
And they said to him, you are the chief of the Muslims in general, and you see that has been fed into you. We had led by Salat. By the way, Salat does not mean pray, brother. Salat does not mean pray. Hello. Salat means a blessing. <laughs> Guys, Allah pray on Muhammad. You salli ala Allah. You sal Allah. Wa malaikatu you salluna ala Nabi. The Muslim they say to us, the word Salat is a, is a blessing. Uh, for for sure, for four. You no, know, Jesus, he did not say I hate. You no, know, we love the Muslims, but we hate the devil, Muhammad. Get lost. Get out of here, coward, son of Muta. Son of the devil. They want to play victims. Jesus teach you to hate. You call us infidels. You call us pigs. You call us monkeys. You call us nudges dirty. You call us kuffar. You make a no-go zoom. You order your uh, the Muslim has been ordered to kill us, to rape our women, to force us to take our property and our money. And the Muslim, he want to play a victim. He talk about hate. Is it the Quran, your son of Muta says in chapter five, verse fourteen, that Allah will spread hate and enmity between the Christians? How dare you, big mouth, to talk about hate? Is that your book or the book of some of the devil? Did Jesus tell you to teach hate? So when we spank your filthy God, you play victim, don't you, the bully nation? Let us bully. Let us go and bully that guy. We, he, he's Islamophobe and he's teaching hate. So you call us all kind of names and we cannot respond. We are not even calling names. We are describing what you follow. Look at this. We planted amongst them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. Who? The Christians. Who's talking? Allah. So you're filthy, talking about hate, and you have a God saying, I implanted hate until the day of judgment, which means if there's any of us have hate is coming from the faith of Allah the devil. It's in the front of you. Coward. We go back to the hadith. The Muslim here they complain that they were praying behind a gate. And then the caliphate he said to them, look what he said, and we are afraid of being sinful because we are read salat prayer by a leader of al fitna he's doing fitna temptation trial affliction all of this because of an ass of a guy i mean look how much suffering the muslim they have because of an ass of a man not a woman so zakir naik is right trials affliction etc all of this because of what because a guy he is bending in the front of them And here you ask yourself, if those people themselves are not a bunch of gays, why they are getting tempted? I mean, look at the hypocrite. They are going to the caliphate complaining that the guy is tempting them. Well, how you can be tempted by a gay unless you are a gay too? All of you. We are afraid of being sinful in following him. Ooh, 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 ooth, ooth, ooth. Uthman said, oh, Salat is the prayer, is the best of all deeds. So when people do good deeds, do the same. And then, as Zuhri said, <laughs> in our opinion, one should not offer Salat behind a feminine person unless there is no alternative. <laughs> oh, boy. The end of the story. Very decent, Nathan. They get tempted by a gay. Never bend over in front of them. They get tempted. They, they get. They, they will say he's tempting us, tempting us. Look his ass. Look his ass, tempting us. What a nation. Uh, uh, here we go. Abbas is doing his best and he's squeezing his pizza. Let us read what Abbas he said. I like what he said, Mr. Genius. Mr. Genius, read 514 again. It was because they abandoned the covenant of God 
it is it was the Bible was God spread hatred between the seed of women and the devil. You stupid idiot. God he says between you and the, 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 the devil there will be enmity. He's the enemy because already he is, he is your enemy. He is the one who deceived you, you stupid donkey. And now you are saying we abandon the covenant. Can you show me the covenant with God? Can you show it to me? Where God he made a covenant with the Christian and where we can fight in the Quran. And what is the covenant? Secondly, if somebody did mislead it, let us say. Jesus says, I, I came to the sick, not to the healthy. You don't deceive them. You don't spread hate between them. What spreading hate would do? What is the benefit? Will make us better or will make us worse? So why Muhammad once sent? If Muhammad was sent to save mankind, then why Allah is sending, spreading hate? This is exposing the whole cult of Islam, but because the Christian, they got Muhammad busted. They knew he's a false prophet. He, they knew he's a son of Muta. They knew he was born four years after his father. They knew that everything he claimed is false. And now you are trying to make it legitimate to spread hatred between us. But you cannot deny that your God is the Satan. For if your God is spreading hate between the Christians, so who is Satan? What Satan he do for a living? Hmm? What is Satan here in this story? See how stupid this Abbas is? How come if you Muslim, you commit sin, Allah forgive you? But if the Christian commits sin, Allah will spread hatred between them. Right? Genesis said God will spread hatred. Guys, Genesis said God will spread hatred. Okay. The Bible says it clearly. Enmity will be between you and him for already you have enmity. Isn't it him the devil who is the one who kicked you out from heaven? You listen to him? Stupid. And as long as you are saying that, you idiot. Let me show you what your prophet said. Just to show you that you are an idiot, the same as your prophet. No better. Read with me and love. The funny, the Muslim, they say, we don't believe in the original sin. And they say and they claim that the Bible claim Eve for the sin of Adam. Read carefully. This is what uh, the that he said to the Christians. You know, Christians do not know about Islam. That's why we are here, to teach you. So we can get them busted with no mercy. The second they say something, right away the spank will come. In your Bible, accusing women that they are the reason for the sin of Adam. In my Bible, God punished both. Adam is no better. But in your religion, only women is the problem. Read carefully. The prophet said, if we're not Bani Israel, which means the Jews, meat would not decay. Muhammad even blaming the Jews for the food to be damaged. You believe it? So we, the reason we have refrigerator because of the Jews. If there's no Jews, we do not need refrigerator. And then he says, if we're not for Eve, no woman would be ever betray her husband. Do you see it? And then those idiots, they say to us, we don't believe in the original sin, it's wrong. But isn't this the original sin? No woman betray her husband? So all women are bad, and Eve is the first. And now you're admitting that you inherit sin, but in the wrong way. Because you are saying that every woman, she is the same as Eve. And Eve is the source of all evil. You see your prophet word. In different hadith, Muhammad, he made it all more, even more clear. He said, women, she come in the image of the devil and she live in the image of the devil. Do you see it? And the filthy, he saw a woman walking by. He looked at her ass. He got horny. He went to his wife. She was doing cooking. And she, she, was, she was doing leather, tanning leather, which is a very hard job to do. She is dirty. She is sweating. But he's an animal. So he forced his wife to have sex with him just because a woman she passed by and his friends were outside waiting for him. 
And then he claim that the woman is the devil, not him. Read carefully. The messenger of Allah saw a woman, and so he come to his wife. So a woman has come to his wife? What does that mean? What? What? You know, when I was a kid, first time I rode a horse, it was a black, beautiful horse, but he was a male horse. I have no idea what happened. You know, the, the horse is so beautiful, but suddenly he went so crazy, he saw a female and he started like, you know, he jumped on the female. This is Muhammad. He's an animal. Sitting with his friends in front of his house, women walk by. What he do? He go to his wife, he force her into sex. The women she is doing leather tanning and he had sexual intercourse with her. And then he came back to his friend and he said, the woman advances in, and retires in the shape of the devil. A second ago, he was having sex with his wife and she is the devil. I mean, women, they are the devil to the point Muhammad, he wanna have, he wanna give you 72 women of them. She is the devil. And Allah will reward you with 72 devil in the heaven. And the Muslims are desperate to die to get the 72 devil. Do you see the hypocrisy of this filthy man? He himself, he has 13 wives at least, at least and hundreds of sex slaves. And women is the devil. Look, look at all the Muslims now, they are strong. Did we lose connection? I hope not. All right, we are going to make this video long so you guys can download it fast and easy. And I hope you like what we do. Uh, by the way, before we go live, there's a guy, there's some people they claim to be Christians. They come, they say, what Christian Prince is doing is not biblical. I say to this coward, why you don't call me and show me why it's not biblical? He ran away. He thought, I'm not, I'm not seeing the, 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 the chat. There's many Muslims, they come here and they play that they are Christians. What is making you upset? Fighting the devil, saving Muslims from Islam and making them believe in Jesus? This is not biblical for you? Jesus, he even called the Jews, who they are Jews who worship Yahweh, the true God. He said to them, the son of the serpent. He said to them, hypocrite, liars. What is not biblical, you coward? What we do is very, very much biblical. Jesus said either you say yeah, yeah, or nay, nay. No political correctness in a Christianity. That is not from our belief. I have nothing to do with us. If you don't dare to say to a Muslim, Muhammad is a false prophet, you are no Christian. That is your duty. The same for Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormon, whatever. A Christian who say, yea, yeah, yea, yeah, or nay, nay, anything else is from the devil. Anyway, I hope we have a good time, and I hope this Muslim who said to me, he challenged me, I will be waiting for you, my friend, to send me a message says you left Islam. You see, I showed you all the reference, and you were wrong, and you have to admit, your prophet cannot be a prophet. All the description does not fit with the good man even to work in the post office. Even in the post office. Uh, yesterday we published a book in, in, in a Polish language, so if you are a Polish person, you did not download it yet, you can go to Patreon and you can click at the link and you can download the book. So now we have uh, all the books uh, which is, in, let us say, in the countries which have uh, something specific about them. People don't have good income. Uh, 
let us say the majority, like Indonesia, uh, in Malaysia, they have good income, but they decide to give it for free anyway, so they can reach for all Muslims in there. We have the Malay book, we have Indonesian two books, we have Russian, we have Albanian, and we have a, a, a Polish, and uh, I hope maybe tomorrow or the day after I will publish the book in Serbian, which means it's a language understood by uh, Bosnia and uh, Croatia. Uh, if you are a person who speaks Korean, Chinese, Thai language, please help us to translate my books to those languages. And I'm going to give them out for free. Totally for free. Here we are doing a mission. We are not doing a business. Saving people is more important than making some pennies. Nobody will take his pennies with him to God. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And whoever here help us, he's providing fruits. One day the Lord will ask you what you did, what you've been doing all your life. You became 70 and 60 and 80 and you die. What you did, what you will say, I bought a house. I have a big screen TV. And nobody denying your right to have any things which make you happy in life. But what about bringing people to Christ? There's things we do because we are selfish. And there's things we do because we are people who love. We love the Muslims, we save them. Not only the Muslims, whoever around us. So don't spend your life and you did not bring one person to Christ. I mean, this is a shame. The Bible speaks about the three who have been given an amount of money as a parable for what people do. There's one he hide it, which means he did nothing. Don't be one of those. You will not be blessed. Those who translate my videos, add subtitle. Those who download them and post them again. Those who help us in donation. Those who uh, uh, translate the books. I mean, all of you, you are not doing it to me. You are doing it to save the Muslims, save your family, save your community. And at the same time, you bring fruits in the front of the Lord. So one day you will be remembered. The Lord, he said it clearly, from their fruits, you shall know them. He will not recognize you if you don't have a fruit. Show me your fruit, my friend. I do my part, what is yours? With this, I want to say may the Lord bless you all. I'm very thankful for having you all. Many of you really do a great job supporting what I do in every way, in every mean. I really appreciate them. I want to say thanks to the admin too, who they are here to take care of the text. And uh, we are proud of the teaching of Christ. After all what happened to us by the faith of Islam, still we love the Muslims. Why? Because of Christ, he made us different a human being. Otherwise, hate is very easy. Muslims, they curse us. They gang against us. Flag them, hate them, ban them. We pray for them. And we are going to prevail, and we are prevailing. And actually, because of what we, what we do is powerful, the devil is going so angry. While we pray for them to be saved, to be healthy, not to be sick, not to be cursed, they do the opposite. And that is alone, if you are a Muslim and listening, that alone is telling you which God we follow and which God they follow. We pray for your health. We pray for your safety. You pray for our death. Did you ask yourself what kind of God, the God we believe in, to make us pray for you? I mean, how that can be the devil? The God of the, the devil, he wants me not to hate you. The devil, he wants me not to fight with you, not to share the blood with you, not to go in war with you. Or the devil, he wants the opposite. So look at your God and look at my God and then you will find who is the devil. Who is the one who wants war? Who is the one who wants us to kill each other? Who was the one who has spread the hatred? That is your God. Somebody saying here, Christian Prince, just stop 
that's your God, also same as Allah. Eh. Well, my God, he is the one who 2,000 years ago said, love your enemy. If you can show me in the United Nations, after 2,000 years of him, a statement saying, love your enemy, then you are my hero. 2,000 years after Jesus, and yet a human being did not reach little dignity to be speaking for love, as Jesus did 2,000 years ago, where everybody died by the sword and lived by the sword. 2,000 years ago, not two years ago. That sentence alone is a Bible. That sentence alone can save the whole world. If everybody practice one sentence of a Christ, no poor will be a street, nobody will be hungry, nobody will be well at school, and nobody will be sick dying because nobody can pay his bill, because everybody loves everybody and everybody share and defend each other. No criminals, no war, no greed. Love your enemy. One sentence of a Christ can change the world. Yet this sentence, nobody was able to say it. Not before, not now, not tomorrow. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And we have more channels as backup, as a plan to fight the devil. God bless. And this is your brother Christian Prince, humbly. Saying to you, have a good day or good night. Take care.